Uh, this one's called Break and was inspired by memory of something that happened at work. <laughs> when uh, we were working terrible, terrible overtime and someone caught me wandering through the halls of our floor, like our, our office floor, um, late at night, after hours, everyone was gone. And I was in some sort of John Woo trance. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending I was Chow Yun Phut or something, and my hands were all over the place as if, but yeah, it was not a pretty thing. Um, yeah, break. The days circle round and round, unstoppable, until the office seems like a hard country. Your ergonomic chair, a poor conveyance to the land of sleep. No one stops you when you slip out from behind your desk to wander the half-lit halls after hours with arms and hands swinging in an intricate and imaginary gun ballet of exhaustion and poor taste. Something fails in, some, in such moments. Your body, no longer wholly yours, inhabited instead by some stuttering shadow of motion unwillingly bound to the world of intangible labor. The hour is late and you have already left what remains of yourself in the draining sink in the bathroom mirror that refuses your gaze. Everything is on the verge of disappearing, you think. Everything moves towards the raw edge of time where anxious factories loom like great trees in a storm about to break. The end is almost here. You sense it on the horizon, how it hangs over you, heavy, faceless, like the imminent demise of a star whose last brilliant flare will arrive long after the earth has gone its own way into the dark. And whatever was you and the life you lived will have slipped free from the wheel at last and found some sort of respite from samsara, from this continual remaking, this constant arising and going forth into the broad, echoing world, patiently awaiting its destruction. In your waking dreams, you see your father as a young man, on a hillside with a shovel and rake, clearing a path to hold back a fire. How simple it seems, his task always at hand, crafting a middle way between what would consume us and what would leave us be.